if it's misty or boring or smoky, you just go over or into the clouds. It's a good place in Thailand to be when the air quality is bad. And the monks have found the right way here in Thailand because they built a temple on each nice peak. Yeah, or like there if if it's accessible by road or something or then it's probably because there's a temple on top. But the bad thing is that some monks still like like probably most monks in Thailand still clean up or tell their younger monks to gather the leaves and burn them. Uh, and I think that monks, like the leaders of like, spiritual life here in Thailand, they should be the forerunners to keep Thailand people healthy. And which means partly to not burn uh, like leaves and stuff and recycle garbage. So that, that should be one of the priorities, together with eating like plant foods. Like Buddhism, in, what I, I was thinking in the beginning was that Buddhism, you are just like, you eat um, plant foods and you accept um, animal products if you're given. But I see monks buy animal products all the time. I think it's, um, I don't know. There are some areas still here, like near Huai Tom, where meat is, Huai Tom is like a very famous um, uh, temple for the Karen people, where they are really like the meat is forbidden inside. So there is like much in the older culture, there is like um, much more um, thought about what you eat and stuff like that. Um, and like what kind of harm you do to other living beings. But it might be that Thai people think that they have really hard lives and then they. If you are like struggling um, because you need to keep up with the education system and every all these systems, the pressure from your parents, the pressure from the government, all these kinds of things, then you just stop caring about other living beings and then you just say, okay, I eat whatever. Um, so we will need to get people to say, okay, we actually have easy lives. Like. <laughs> <laughs> many people in Thailand don't realize how how lucky they are like most like not most but many Thai people like all people can just go to the countryside get food f almost for free because like if you if you're dead broke and you're Thai people will help you like if you go to a temple they will give you fruit or vegetables or whatever they will help you like in in, in Chiang Mai there is a place called vegetarian society which is like a volunteer a place where you they actually if you take one dish like if you take one plate of rice with uh, one topping of something it's free it's like it's insane you know so so uh, compared to um, there I know they're like homeless places where they're like in other countries but this is like I've been to vegetarian society but I take more than one topping and I I pay a little bit more because I think it's ridiculous to uh, to get something for free when you're able to pay for it and it's like people are like volunteering there and sadly some people are taking advantage of that but I think that some people also like who really need it will get some good from it so um, I think that monks Thai monks need to uh, be the leaders of health and show other people how to not to burn, make um, compost, pui, and then we will have much better air quality and together with with plant products we will have saving the planet even more. So plant foods and not burning, the way to go. Thank you, Thai monks. Just outside the temple area, preparing for burn. Among the wood is the plastic. This is nothing special, it's normal. 
normal here, but we can change, right? People are always like worried about, oh, I don't want to change. What's wrong with change? The world is changing all the time. It's like change is normal. So I believe in change. I believe in a better world. If I wouldn't believe in a better world, there was no point in living. <laughs>